What is going on guys and girls, my name is today we're going to be showing you how to get some very easy achievements on FIFA 15 if you haven't already. First things first, you're going to press the R2 on this one, you're going to see some new achievements or new things that some of your friends online have done. You're going to thumb that up and you're going to get an achievement straight away for 5 gamer score. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to move over to the left hand side and you're going to leave a comment. It can say absolutely anything and just as long as you leave it and then move on it will eventually pop up. The reason I'm doing this today is because a lot of these achievements some of you may not have already and a lot of you probably like to get you know as much gamer score in the games as you can. So I've been doing a little bit of research into them and I decided to show you what I found. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to the catalogue. We're going to do this all in order. You're going to click right trigger and you're going to go on to the ultimate team tab. Basically this achievement is to loan a player. I'm sure a lot of you have done this already but some of you may not know about this feature. You're basically going to redeem this and then once you click OK you're going to get this achievement pop up. Altogether I'm going to be showing you around about 12 achievements today ranging from 5, 10 and 15 gamer score each so it's getting you quite a lot. As you can see we've now redeemed that and we're going to move on to the next one now and it's actually going to be gifting somebody else a, um, <coughs> a present. Uh, pretty much and how you do this is you click on something you go into gift now and then you move down to whoever you want to give it to I'm going to be blocking them on this video just to save people's gamer tags being shown online but as soon as that's done you see your achievement is unlocked called generous and you get 15 gamer score for that all of these achievements that I'm going to be showing you today may needed you may need to play games for example this one we've got match day live this is on the main menu you just move over a couple of tabs it's whoever you've chosen your supported team to be you go in and you play that game as soon as you've played that game it gives you an achievement it doesn't have to be you winning you can lose you can draw any outcome of the game it really does not matter and you'll get the achievement it's basically I think it's called supporter or something like that let me just double check for you guys um, it is called Big Game and basically it's just you playing your real life team's next game as you can see Chelsea are next playing against Crystal Palace so I've played that game somehow managed to draw 3-3 free free. I've got no idea how next thing we're going to do is go into Ultimate Team I'm sure a lot of you have got Ultimate Team already and some of you may not have done this one I know for a fact that I did and I didn't even know you could get an achievement for this you're going to go on to your main team you're going to click on Y move down to team roles and you're going to change the captain some of you may have done this some of you may not have but as soon as you confirm this you back out and you get an achievement saying do not blame it on your captain or something like that or sure I'll blame it on your captain that is a very easy achievement to get a lot of these achievements are dead easy and a lot of people haven't done them so I thought I would show you next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the transfer market and you're going to pick up any chemistry card you want it can literally be any and just apply it to anyone in the team you want and you get another five game of score achievement called weird science and we're going to move on to the next one now these are all ultimate team ones from now on apart from the last one which we're going to get to soon enough it's a bit of a long video this but it's definitely worth doing all of these we're going to challenge the team of the week now again it doesn't matter if you win or lose i would rather you win though just in case it does matter so i went on beginner and i absolutely slaughtered them just for the sake of getting this achievement to show you guys and as you can see in a moment it is going to pop up as soon as we finish this game you get to the end, you advance and you get your coins which is a bonus anyway and you get the achievement I'm not afraid of you. So you have to play two games so far but you get a lot of achievements from doing so. 11 though as you can see there, absolutely hammered them. The third one is again an online game so you can do a seasons game, you can do a gold cup game, sil silver cup, bronze cup, any of the cups. You just have to play against an online opponent and once you get to the end of the match there's a screen that pops up with everybody's faces in your team. It basically shows you your squad sheet. What you need to do there, and I didn't even realise this was the case, you can press the button Y at the bottom as you can see there. Copy opponent squad. I had no idea that was there. You copy the squad and you go ahead and get an achievement for that. I mean, how easy is that? A lot of you will play Ultimate Team anyway. You click on that, you get a 15 gamer score right there. Dead easy to do indeed. And we're going to move on to the last achievement now. And this is something that you guys could probably do at the beginning of the video. If you press RS now on your controller, it could be Xbox or PlayStation, it's both the same. You share your activity and you get an achievement for that. Five gamer score, simple enough. That is the end of the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. There's going to be two videos out today, so make sure you stick around for the second one later on. It's going to be a legend player review. If you could smash the like on this video, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if these tips have helped you out at all, and I will see you next time.